thanks to Peter, my brother's life is ruined. Sherlin is now the family's daughter-in-law. Karan, there might be a reason why Peter didn't make it. She could be in trouble or maybe an accident. Quiet! When someone close to you breaks your heart, you will naturally feel devastated. Understand? The heart. It hurts a lot. It causes you to start doubting your very existence. It even makes you regret the day you were born. You are broken when someone you trust more than anyone breaks your heart and lies to your face about their betrayal. These photographs are fake. Shellen must have planned this. This is you. This is your face. Look, you are the one taking the briefcase full of money from Sherlin. Understand? I... This is solid proof, madam. Solid proof. You kept deceiving us. But now, I have found out who you really are, Preeta. You've stabbed me in the back, Preeta Aurora. You completely betrayed me. I didn't have proof of Sherlin's pregnancy. Preeta's... She's the one who had the proof, but she didn't turn up. I'll go to the Luthra house, and I'm going to tell Karan the truth. Ma, Ma, it is already too late for that, Mrs. Aurora. I heard all the things you said to me. I listened to you, but I assure you I'm not going to stand for any criticism of me. I'm a self-respecting woman. I am somebody's daughter, and I also have my own dignity and honor. You know that I respect Andraki a lot. That is why I couldn't say no. Otherwise, I would not have. I would have told her that I didn't want to come. And if I had said that, then I wouldn't have to look at your face. You know, I told you several times. I said, Sholin is pregnant. Sholin is pregnant. Sholin is pregnant. But no, you refused to believe what I said. But you trusted every word that Preeta said. We are somebody's daughter, Sriti. We can't be treated like this. Why should we stand there and take their insults? Tell me, why should we cry? Why should we put up with all of this? Is it their right to take whatever they want to? I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Answer the phone, Preeta Aurora. Pick it up. Answer the call now. Do it now! What are you going to gain by calling me all the time and lecturing me about what I did wrong? I'm at the end of my tail and I can't bear to take any of this anymore. I do not have the strength to make you understand and I do not have the energy to explain myself to you. I don't even know why any of this is happening. Please stop thinking about them. They're not worth it. It, it hurts me to see you worry like this and it pains me to see you cry. I can't explain how much it hurts me. You are going to be exposed one way or another, Sherlin. And your future will be finished. First you went to Rishab's lock and stole the keys, that of Faraki's cupboard. Then you came to this room and you tried to find the property papers. While you were looking for them, you also stumbled across Raki's jewelry. I promise you right now, I am going to put an end to the sadness before the sun goes down tonight. I'm a Hesh Luther, give my word. Father, Father, please! The only thing we wanted to do was take over this family. Our plan to take all the property and to leave them without any money to their names has been ruined. Everything is over. Mahesh Luther has found out about everything, including the two of us, and now he's going to ruin everything. <laughs> I promise that if Mahesh Luther hasn't gotten to the temple yet, I'm going to make sure the secret the two of us are keeping remains a secret. I promise you that. Don't you see? After Preeta left the house, we are facing a disaster. My hash was in an accident. You all secretly miss Preeta quite a lot. And you cannot live without her. You love Preeta more than you love your own father. Leave the hospital and get out of our lives. We don't need you if we want to have happiness in our lives. Aren't you a daughter to him? Don't you love him at all? Call off the wedding. Karan, I think that she wants to get revenge on you. 
That's why she humiliated your father and threw him out of her house. I think she threw him out the way you threw her out of your house. Every mother dreams of this day. The day her daughter gets married. And I can't believe it. I can't believe that my dream is coming true. Brita will regret marrying him. I can't believe she's getting married to such a fool. Huh? What will he be like once they're married if he's like this now? When both of us want to marry each other, then what can you do about do it? Do not be foolish, Pritvi. I do not care for one second who Preta marries or who you marry for that matter. Preta ruined my happiness. Now I will ruin her happiness too. Stop right there! Are you in a relationship with her? <sighs> okay. It's clear. <laughs> Pritvi, what? Accident? Pritvi. Father, do you think Pritvi planned your accident? All I want is for you to tell me who Pritvi Malhotra is. He is the reason we have come here. I can't believe Rishab accused Prithvi of plotting the accident. He even got Prithvi arrested. I find it very strange that Karan hasn't come here. He didn't react at all. Where is he? Do you not know? Roaming the streets so late at night as a girl invites trouble for herself, right? Never mind. You all decked up in your wedding dress and you want to have a night out all alone. Wow. Don't you have any sense? Continue talking to me in that tone because I have missed talking to you he's so important to you but what about me Preta what do I mean to you I wanted to marry her so that I could get my revenge I wanted to release my anger that's the reason I didn't think I could ever tell her how much I love her I'm the only friend that she has I know in my heart that you are a good person, and I also know that he is a very bad person. He is the definition of evil. How on earth could Preta have gotten married to Kuran? You were supposed to be under the veil. How could this have happened? How could he have switched places with you? Where on earth did you go? This fool, we fight with those that we love the most. Well, that was my love. You don't know anything. I do. I know that... that you love me. Love? I do not have a shred of love in my heart for you. That sneaky man told me the truth. He told me he wanted to marry Preta to seek revenge on her. Your son didn't bring her here. He didn't take her to a marital home. He abandoned my daughter in the middle of the street. He avenged my brother's accident. Serves your daughter right! Very good, Karan! I have most certainly destroyed her life. That woman does not deserve your love and concern. Do you understand? So stop being so worried about her, Mom. Now it is time for you to cry your heart out. I tried to warn you so many times to stay away from the Luthra family. I cannot support what you've done. But how can I not be there for my own brother when he needs me? Firstly, you have been wrongfully deceived. Mr. Karan Luthra has deceived you on more than just one occasion. You know she likes to play mind games. She will play mind games with you again. She will make you feel guilty. I know what Karan did to Prita is unimaginable. I didn't expect Karan to do something like that. Even I was very sure. Have you ever met that man? I mean, Karan Luthra. No. <sighs> I don't think I've ever met him before. Every single one of you means nothing to me. Whether it's you, or whether it's Preta, or anybody else, I do not care. I know that everybody goes through a rough patch in their lives, but it takes a very good friend to bring our happiness back. Until we forget about everything that happened, I'm sorry, but there's no way that we can be friends. You're not fooling anybody with this act of yours. I can see right through what you are doing. You're not making a commitment. 
to be there for someone for the rest of their lives. Sometimes you say that you could not care less if the terrorists catch me or if they don't. You treat me worse than an enemy would. On the other hand, you try to save me whenever I'm in danger. It was Karan who caused my daughter so much pain. How can he just run away from his responsibilities? It is his responsibility to accept Rita as his wife and to make very sure that she is respected. Rita is the woman who ruined your brother's life. And you want the two of them to be together. You want Peter to live in this house as a part of this family. And you want Peter to observe the fast for Karan. She is married, so of course she's going to observe a fast today. How can I do this fast now? My husband isn't... Well, I mean, Karan isn't here now. So how will it be done? Madam, we're finally here. He married you by hiding his face behind a veil and then he left you alone in the middle of the road, in the middle of the night. I've seen both of you. You have surely made one mistake. You have fallen in love with the man who has unfortunately already gotten married. I overheard Aunt Karina. She told Myra. That she wants Myra and Karan to get married. How is this possible? Isn't it strange how life works? Destiny plays strange games with us. Aunt, I think there might be a very good chance that, that Preeta also still loves Karan very much. So my sister is the daughter-in-law of that house. Preeta is... Actually, I like everyone. Except one person. If Karan really doesn't love her, then Karan shouldn't have any expectations. Love can never be one-sided. But... Even my love is one-sided. Nobody should be able to tell Mother that I went to see Karan. Because I'll never go to his place. I'd never do that. You snatched the property papers from me. Yet the property is mine. So why exactly should I let you have it? Bye, Father. Please. Stop dragging Preeta into everything. Will you just stop blaming everything on Preeta for once? What has happened to him? Sherlin has Karan's best interests in mind. She just wants to help Karan to move on in life. Rishab shouldn't have spoken to her like that. I'll have to have a word with Rishab. Sherlin simply wants to ensure that our family stays happy. There's nothing wrong with that. If you don't stop talking about this, I'm going to move to a hotel. Karan's never been in love with Preeta. Karan married her for reasons that had nothing to do with love. In fact, he hates Preeta, you know. He can marry anybody he wants to. Shruti, I also want to move on. It's time for us both to forget each other and move on. I am never going to move on. And I refuse to let you move on either. I need you to stop saying things about me, right or wrong. Stop spewing words. Stop it right now. Our unmarried Preeta and he abandoned her on the street on the night of his wedding. But he only did that because Karan found out that Preeta was having an affair. I know this is a personal matter and I don't want to interfere, but try to understand. When two people who are in a relationship are angry, they often make the wrong decisions. What is she saying, Aunt? Samir, please. You should never interrupt when the elders are talking. I think you are trying to exact revenge on the Aurora, so you're trying to take advantage of the situation. Samir! What was Preeta's fault? Huh? She was going to get married to Prithvi. The invitations were sent. She had no idea that Karan was the one at the altar. Karan is the one who resorted to deception and married Preeta. Our beloved cricket star, Karan Luthra is all set to get married to Mahira Khanna. What exactly do you mean by that? What's going on between you two, huh? Karan, from the sound of things, I think that you are in love with her. I'm going to be formally engaged soon. Yes, I know that. How many times are you going to say the same Until thing? Until the day that you stop dreaming about leeching off my family. 
Do you understand? You dreamt of being my wife. You thought you hit the jackpot when you got married to me. You thought you would get all my money. All of your nasty dreams have been shattered forever, Preeta. Well, fine then. I'm ready to get married. Hold on. First answer this question I have. Have you been married to Karan or not? Yes or no? Tell me, are you Mrs. Luthra or not? Are you a married woman or not? Yes, I'm a married woman. 